Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The recent Russian military strike near Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis and Ukrainian Prime Minister Volodymyr Zelensky during a visit to Ukraine has prompted Greece to reconsider its stance on delivering its Russian-made S-300 PMU-1 and Tor M-1 surface-to-air defense missile systems to Ukraine. In light of this incident, Greek media reports suggest that Greece may supply Ukraine with its S-300 PMU-1 system if it can secure the more advanced American MIM-104 Patriot system in exchange. This potential transfer of Greek S-300s to Ukraine is significant, especially after the recent destruction of at least one Patriot launcher by a Russian Iskander M ballistic missile. In addition to the S-300 PMU-1, Greece is also considering transferring its Tor M-1 and SA-8 OSA AKM air defense systems to Ukraine. While the S-300 and Tor M-1 systems are of particular interest to Ukraine, the OSA system is considered obsolete. Greece is reportedly ready to exchange its S-300 PMU-1 systems exclusively for American-made Patriot air defense systems. The S-300 PMU-1 system, equipped with the advanced 30N6E fire control radar and capable of firing the 48N6E missile, offers enhanced detection, tracking, and engagement capabilities. It can engage up to 36 air targets simultaneously with 72 missiles, utilizing encrypted communication lines for data exchange between combat assets. Meanwhile, the Tor M1, NATO designation SA-15 Gauntlet, is a mobile surface-to-air defense missile system designed to defend troops and facilities from various aerial threats, including high-precision weapons, aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles, and guided bombs. It features a rapid reaction time, capable of engaging and launching missiles against two separate targets within seconds. Greece's potential transfer of these air defense systems to Ukraine underscores its commitment to supporting Ukraine's defense efforts amid ongoing conflict with Russia. This move could significantly bolster Ukraine's air defense capabilities, providing valuable assets in its defense against Russian aggression. That's all for now. See you later.